I told you. Not now. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Toro. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Toro fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. <sighs> I miss my forge. I'm drinking. You're leaving. I already told you. He was at the temple ruins with us. But it ain't like we forced him to go along. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. Gobbo's a hold up in the temple ruins, out west of here. Last I saw Alson, he was right in the thick of them. If you head that way, you'll likely smell them or hear the drums before you see them. Thanks. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Mm. Commander. Just Zevlo. <clears throat> We're civilians now, remember. With respect, sir. Being a Hellrider is for life. They can't take... They can and did. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to that. Yes. Zephlor. Our time grows short. If Corga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. What is it? Some artifact Aradin was hunting. I don't know any more than that, and I don't want to. This grove is poorer for losing Halsin, but I have my own people's concerns to look to.
Keep your steel sharp. Goblins, no. used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. We're tougher than we look. We've survived persecution, survived Avernus. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> there's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Excellent! And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. I think I... Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Yes, I see. This will all be over. It's all right. The ritual's almost finished from us the game we've shown them once we take grove law seriously by letting that child escape without consequence we might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us something good here i hope
I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. His ears twitch as he lowers his head down into your lap. Everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Hmm. By Sylvanus, another outsider. Should you have an ounce of sense, you will leave immediately. Power seized, the battle done, the moonrise broke the darkest one. rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. Druidic orders often fight dark forces, but you do not recognize the events depicted here. The mural depicts a purge, a sacred cleansing of the land on a scale you've never seen before. Claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. You recognize the druids as elders of a circle. This place is a divine sanctuary. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. And if it is, strangers are the scourge. The right is the remedy. No laws can change that. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Oh. 
Oh, by Sylvanas, I just want my bed. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Sylvanas, I just want my bed. What am I to do? Onward, in her name. Towers seized the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. You see vanquished foes heaped at the druid's feet. The fallen bear Shah's sacred symbol on their armor and banners. The inscription speaks of moonrise. A reference to vile Saluna, no doubt. She and her druid allies bloodied Shah's forces. But Shah persists. She thrives. Still breathing, despite everything. What is Halson? One no. day I'll catch a break. <clears throat> see a sharp intelligence behind its eyes. Is it a familiar or another druid enjoying their wild shape? Here we go. In darkest hour, a concord made twixt harp and wild against the shade. You surmise that the druids allied with the harpers, a formidable force. A V 
victory of the Celestial Saluna over her dark sister, Shah. Fresco shows a group of druids gathered in Sylvanas' name. You are on sacred ground. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill Your druidic brethren cleansed this land once. I could understand you. plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free.
My way. Now for what you are. 
My path be true. everything. No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. They're... they're gone. Now there's just Mole. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Wait, um... You should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it.
dance upon the stars tonight smile and pain will fade away words of mine will change no become oh. more like butchering don't know why I bother No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? I... We lost people on the way here. And the dead deserve to be remembered. That's what my teacher always said. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now. My heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble. Like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect! Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes, yes! Support the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will turn to ash When you call the last lights down Moon reminds me of your grace All the love I can't repay Rest and know that I will pray Farewell, my dear old friend
sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I have a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. <laughs> His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I heard you help Melly with that locket. I owe you for that. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. Rituals, nothing more than a fancy way to kick us out and leave us for dead. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's got to be worth a small fortune.
Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Never see us coming. You don't look so tough. Mole thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. I get to run the ring scam. You're blocking my light. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who helped me get away. You want something? Were you just here to stare at my forehead? Look, if I had it, would I tell you? This entire conversation is a waste of our time, don't you think? Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. It's about you. I hope you like it. Worse than junk. Don't worry, kid. In Boulder's Gate, purses practically grow on trees. Be patient. We'll get there. Oh. Hello again. Um... Mole's in charge here, not me. Not long until we leave now. God, it's boring in here. Here goes nothing. I need new pockets to pick.
I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And... Swift as my feet can carry me. It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. I am. I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. charms more than you think. Oh. You're no fun. Sleep tight. I'll see you later. I'm sure. Fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. What's up for discussion? A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. Before the illithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Go ahead. I'm listening. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Think of it as... tribute. 
The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. There are many answers to that question. None are important. Correct. No. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. A matter of coin. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Very well. the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Wise. Though 
I hope you'd miss me after I'm gone. I think I would if the positions were reversed. But you're right. If we're to make it through all this, there can be no room for hesitation. You're doing well. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to it. Traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Shook, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the archdevils Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. All right. What else is on your mind? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. I left him with his uncles. Five years on, and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. I mourn the ones I could never save. Whose cross? I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. 
by all means. What else is on your mind? That's the spirit. How can I help? The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. What can I say? They were eye-catching. Consider me an art lover. Thank you.